Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in today's video we're taking a look at a variety of different stoves. First up are three relatively small stoves. The little individual burner stove. These little stoves are great for backpacking because of their tiny size. We'll get some rough measurements for you. The stove itself is about three inches long. He's around two inches wide. There are some little individual stoves like this that are even smaller. So their greatest benefit is their small size. They un fold as it were and screw on top of a isobutane or an isobutane mix fuel canister. They have an on off and fuel regulation valve and many have a piezo electric ignition. The fuel canister becomes the base support for the stove. There are foldable bases that are made to fit so at least some of the canisters, this one does fit. The add-on bases often have two slots, an inner set of slots for the smaller canisters and then an outer set of slots for the slightly larger canisters. That gives a little extra support for the stove so it won't tip over. There are little cleats that fold out to support whatever you want to put on top of it. This is an eight inch pan, so it'll hold that. You get up to a 10 inch pan, it's pretty tippy. The next small stove we're going to look at is a alcohol burner. This particular alcohol burner comes with a case. This is the little burner itself. It's made out of brass. Inside the lid it has a gasket. That way you can keep alcohol in it when you transport it. You just want to be sure you have the lid well tightened. To use it you take off the lid put about two ounces of fuel in and then you can light it with a lighter, a match, a ferrocerium rod, whatever you have available. Its little top provides adjustment for the amount of flame so you can dampen it down or open it up to have more flame. Now by itself you can't put anything on top of it and that's one thing that's nice about this particular little kit. It comes with this cool gadget that you can set the stove inside of the base nicely supports a 8 inch pan and it also supports a 10 inch pan. Our fuel of choice for this little burner is denatured alcohol. However, there are other fuels that you can use. I found a really interesting article on five different fuels to be used in little alcohol burners and I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Even if you don't purchase a little kit that has a base for the alcohol stove, there are lots of surrounds or other stoves that use the alcohol burner. The little stove itself is about three inches wide and it's about two inches high. The base is four inches wide. Top to bottom is just shy of two and a quarter inches. The last little backpacking stove we're going to look at is the Firebox Nano. It's a little three inch stove. This particular one is in a kit. It comes with what they call an Xbox. And they call it the Xbox because of the little X at the bottom. That's where the little feet for the stove fit. The kit comes with a little carbon felt. In the bottom of the box are two little pins that you can slide into the edge of the felt and use as a windscreen if you want. This is the little nano stove itself. This particular one is stainless steel. They also make a titanium version. He's five inches high. He's just over three inches wide. 
And his thickness, he is not very thick. It's about a quarter of an inch. He's thin. Comes with two little pins. And the bottom folds down. So if you have some really tall sticks or if you want to make sort of a Swedish fire that's all the way to the ground, you can leave the little base plate folded up. Across his feet when they're folded, across the top feet when he's folded open is right at six and a half inches. So even though he folds up very small, he can easily accommodate an eight inch pan or a 10 inch pan. The Xbox is nice because it gives you a platform to secure his feet in if you've got a really sandy spot and you just wanna get him up off the ground a little, up out of the dirt. The two little pins fit in two slots that are caddy corner on two different sides. And they have a couple of purposes. One is the little alcohol stove fits in and sits right on top of the pens. And another purpose they have is you can use a Trangia gas burner with them. To use the Trangia gas burner with the little Nano, you'll need to take the shield off that comes on the Trangia. It's somehow never pretty when I put the Trangia burner in here. The Trangia gas burner comes with these slots that are on either side that have some flex to them. And they slip in perfectly and just snap right into place on those little pins. And with the Trangia gas burner as it comes, it fits the isobutane or isobutane mix fuels. Or if you have an adapter, then you can connect it to a one pound propane bottle. We'll put links to stoves in the video description below. And in the comments, be sure to let us know what your favorite camp stove is and why. And as always, thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.